Hello guys, welcome back. I'm your friend in Saxo. Today, we're going to make a Telegram bot with the help of Go programming language. Why I want to do that? Because simply, as you can see, in my Telegram group, there are a bunch of aligned people. I guess those AD men want to get into my group. And even though the bot could be able to remove those, those spawn accounts, but the notification is still exists and it's quite annoying as I think so. Uh, when I wake up or I I say is those annoying notifications. So I was thinking maybe we can write a telegram bot to to remove those annoying notifications. All right, then how can we do that? Here I get a project which is called PGAsk. It's a quite old project. I I started this project maybe two years ago, and for each year I make a new version of it. <laughs> and for now, I just thinking that maybe I can use a Go programming language to rewrite this project. Okay, um, this is what I'm gonna. Use. Use. I'm going to use the uh, Go Telegram bot framework. Uh, to do that, first I should show you how can you initialize a Go project. I was a song that you have the Go binary or uh, the Go package installed. If you don't, you can just uh, do it with a simple sudo apt install Go. I guess that would uh, in give you a fresh installation. Or maybe you can try Go line. Yeah, that's right. You could uh, install the Go line program and you with this command sudo apt install Go line. Then after that, uh, you probably Probably, uh, let's say what you can do. Oh, you could use go mood initialize with your GitHub address with your project land here. Uh, for mine, it is TG ask. And for you, it can be anything else. After that, you should be able to get a go mod. It will save some dependencies information about your project. Then after that, you should create a main go file, which is this one. And it looks like this. This is uh, actually the entry point of our go land program. Okay, after that, let's uh, uh, let's install the Telegram bot uh, framework. It can be done with one simple command. Okay, it's done. Um, now if we go back and uh, check out the Go mod, you should be able to say the requirement already been in been written to the requirement uh, link. So this is good for others to use your project without worry about the dependency states stuff like like some other programming languages, for example the C++. It's uh, quite boring and stupid for you to manually handle those dependencies in C++, but uh, but they probably get used to it. Uh, but for GoLine, it can be as simple as this. So it's kind of a good language for its great uh, dependencies handling, machinizing. Okay, enough talking. Let's just copy this code. This is a uh, basic code for the GoLine program, uh, for the GoLine Telegram uh, stuff. Let's just uh, uh, pass it into here. Okay, uh, I think this is good enough. Mm -hmm. First we got, or let's say he just defined a bot with the talking. I don't know the talking yet I'm going to I'm going to look for it uh, for example as you can see here in the telegram we got a boat father uh, this is a facial boat for telegram uh, with this boat you could be able to create your your own boat and get the talking as you can see here talking uh, that's very important for our program uh, but you can change the talking whenever you want uh, here's one thing to remember do not leak this talking to others I will change this talking after this tutorial so don't worry about me all right now I got the talking in my code. Then let's go. Uh, what it did is to take the new updates and do a loop. Uh, actually, this is the only thing that matters uh, inside of this loop. It will keep checking the update image. If the update image equal to norm, uh, we continue. If it's equal to something, it will probably, let's say, create a new message with the uh, with chat room or the telegram group. Uh, then with the message itself, it's, it's, it will just do a reply. Um, and for this case, it will use the bot uh, instance to send a message out. Okay, let's just, uh, uh, no, I need a new terminal. Okay, let's just uh, run this uh, boat. Here I am using FI, but you probably will not have the FI. So uh, what you should do to run it, you should say go run man.go and it's running. Okay, since it's running, uh, let me just, uh, oh, it says failed to get updates. Terminated by other get updates require request. Make sure that only one boat instance is running. 
Hey, I probably got some problem with my server. Uh, it's probably due to the server of mine. Oh, here we go. Uh, we got a server called TGS running in my server. That could be a could be a problem. How can I stop it? Okay, I just want to say dark. Stop that task. No, no such counter. Well, well, let me recheck about this. Uh, we got it right in here. This is a counter then. I will just stop it. So I'm gonna say darker. Stop this counter. Okay, it's stopped. Now if we say Docker PS, it's gone. Awesome. Okay, let's go back to our program. Now if I run the go programming again, you'll say it's authorized on that account. And if I run my telegram and send some message to my bots, for example, I say hi, uh, you will say the bot just uh, replied me with a hi message. And uh, for the go line part, it also has some messages back. Okay, that's cool. That's quite cool. At least uh, we just made a boat, a simple boat, a replying boat. Uh, for this boat, I just want to find a way to delete a message. Let me see if we can use uh, the code editor to edit or, or go program. Yes, we could. So let me change the editor size for a little bit. Okay, for now, uh, let's go on. It's still too small. Uh, okay, for this case, uh, since it got the auto compilation kind of stuff, we can uh, use some building functions. For example, the delete message. Uh, Let's say what it takes. Delay the message configure. For the send function, it takes a chatable stuff. We we send that uh, we send that message to it. For this case, the official document uh, does not help at all. Delay the message configure. It's a structure. It takes a chat ID and a message ID. Okay, then let's try to uh, initialize a structure like that. The chat ID that will be update message chat ID. Then the message ID update that message that ID. A for this one, it should be probably this. And it takes two arguments. Undeclared. So the update message ID is undefined. It's probably right. Uh, because we have to say message ID. Okay, for this one, what's happening? Compose literally uses onCAD field. That's an error. Uh, will that be a problem or not? I don't know. So let's just uh, uh, try to run this, this code. It seems like we don't have any. Uh, it doesn't matter for that warning. So I'll send a message out. Oh, as you can see, when I send that message out, my message would be deleted immediately when after the, the boat received my uh, message. But uh, here's the problem. His own messages are still there. I want to delete it too. How can I do that? I could just add another line of code. I say delete the message with the chat ID and the message ID. For the message ID, it should be, it should be msg dot chat ID no. Uh, we probably couldn't be able to uh, delete the message that we just sent out. Uh, that's strange. Okay, let's have a look at the update function. Let's see if we can do something about it. For the update, it gets a lot of different uh, parts. If the message equal to norm, then the update ID would be true. Message would be non. Others would be true. Uh, that was strange. Uh, it was totally different uh, than what I think it might be. Uh, let me do an experiment. For example, I uh, restart this uh, process and try to add a new people to my own group. I hit the join button. Uh, uh, this is what we got. We got another message back. Message from whatever is built for us. We got a message ID. We got a chat ID. Type. Super group. What is that? Data. New chat participates. This is a Johnson file. User land. And an army too. Is built for us. What about the message? This is a message. We can get the message ID from whatever. The chat type. Uh, the message ID itself is this. Uh, we don't care about it. Uh, uh, no, we do care about the type of this message because we we would relay on it to do some processing. But this structure does not be uh, very helpful. Okay, I think I got a, an idea for this kind of uh, work. So all we have to do is to check uh, about the text. If the text here equals to num or equals to nothing, we delete that message. Right? It can be as simple as that. So let's comment this out. We need at least one function. Go line check if a string is empty. Mm, I'll use this one. So if the length of uh, update uh, message text text equal to zero which has no which means it doesn't have any contents then we delete that message so this is the basic logic of our code now let's uh, run it again for now our group has no notifications at all uh, but if we add some members to it for example you can add uh, a or add uh, whatever to it we add it to it when i add it so that uh, message will be deleted immediately uh, so for this case we have reached the uh, the end of this tutorial 
we have successfully uh we could be able to successfully delete those notifications while still remain the functionality of normal image sending for for example we could say good morning and this message won't be deleted for example now if i remove two members of that uh, from, from our group and uh, there has no notifications at all if i add two members to my group as you can see the notification would be deleted immediately so that's good uh, i just uh, reached my goal so gulen is somehow usable if you uh, want to use it to some simple project simple project as i said even if i uh, don't know much about this language for example here i got an error but i don't know how to i don't know how to solve it actually how about we say chat id with something like that chat id and uh, message id and for this case if i add the chat id and the message id the error is just gone so uh this is probably the solution for that error so we made it we just made a telegram bot without any error and working as as we expected so it's good so um how can you actually compile this uh, golem program you probably could say go build and it's done uh when it's done you get a binary file which is a tg ask the green one this binary file how can you run it you could say tg ask and boom it's running so this is the powerful one the only bad point about go line is that um, one it doesn't have a class stuff it's a simple language and also it's uh, it's a it's a young program language it doesn't have a lot of libraries and it's hard to reuse some c or c plus plus code code with the uh, golem program language and the most important part about this is that it's hard to uh interact with the python even if you could use goline to make a library then uh you use python to import it but you can make it as a as a python package and publish to the public uh, you can only install that golem or a uh, golem kind of stuff on your user's computer that's totally insane your user doesn't know anything about the good line um okay that's today's tutorial i will i will link uh i will link this project and my own project the tg ask uh under the video in the description and i hope you enjoy this video uh, i will see you in the next time bye